Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. The Winnipeg Jets are a wagon. This start of the 2023-2024 season has been something just absolutely special. This team, you know, outside of the trade with Dubois and adding Ayafalo, adding Kapari, and adding Velarde, who I may as well mention hasn't been playing at all this season pretty much because of the injury, this team has been incredible. This team, the Winnipeg Jets, it's safe to see, th th I'm just going to say it, this is the best iteration of the Winnipeg Jets we have seen since 2017-18, and the stats are here to prove it. Right now, they are currently sitting tied for second place right now at the Colorado Avalanche, um, tied for first place, I should say. Kyle Connor is second in the league in entire goals. The Jets have somehow even got a guy like Dylan Sandberg has come in and even made Nate Schmidt, uh, Schmidt playing good. Nemestikov is having a quiet six-game six point streak. Everything about this team is on fire right now, and not to mention the record is almost identical to where they were at 19 games back in 2018-19, and this is all without getting back Gabriel Velarde in the top six. The Jets are looking like things are lining up perfectly for them. This season has been so damn successful already, and I know this video seems weird to make, like I'm all praising it, plan the parade, but for once, this feels different. I know that this team has done this before, we've talked about this in Recap Reaction, but this year, the depth, everything about this team is different, it's exciting. There's new life, even within players that have been here for years already, guys that have been drafted by this team and have played with this team for so long, they, they're, there's just new life to them, you know? You lost Rick Bonus because of the whole ordeal with his family matter, Scott O'Neill comes in, thank God Bo Shirley's, um, Bonus' wife's okay, and when Scott O'Neill comes in, the team does absolutely insane. He carries, he gets these guys going, they get them motivated, and this was without Rick Bonus. Scott Arneal was not a coach that I was very high on, I should add, either, especially when it looked like he could potentially be the next head coach before the Bonus signing was announced a couple years ago. And he comes in and absolutely wills this team into a beast in the Western Conference. The Jets are on fire. They're playing some of the best complete hockey in the entire NHL, in my opinion, when you look at the depth scoring, the consistency of the depth, and everything else that has to surround with this new forward core. They're playing out of their minds. And for the first time in a long time, it feels like this team might actually have a shot at really doing something and making a real impact. For so long, we've seen the Jets come out and start pretty good, you know, and have these moments where, yo, you get some lucky wins in there, you get some good goaltending from Connor Hellebuck, and you're somehow in a really good spot early on in the start of the season, almost identically where they are right now. But this year, everything about the wins has been different. Connor Hellebuck has not been his typical Connor Hellebuck self. He's not been that good this season, but that doesn't matter because for the first time in Tech, let's be real, Connor Hellebuck's entire career, the Jets' offense and everything else about the forward play and defensive play is actually making up for bad goaltending, which has never really happened before, let's be real, except going back to 2017-18, but even then, everything clicked that year. This year, Connor Hellebuck has not been that good. Everything else outside of Connor Hellebuck has been fucking incredible, and it's like you don't need Connor Hellebuck to be that good at this point in the season, and that is a huge reason for why I think the Jets are finding so much success. They're believing in themselves. They're not riding on the coattails, you know, of Mark Scheifele, Blake Wheeler, and Connor Hellebuck like they have in the past. The depth, you know, isn't playing five minutes a night anymore on the fourth line. You have consistent depth, consistent depth scoring, and when the team needs to have leadership and the team, you, you know, you need to step up because of a bad goaltending or because your stars aren't performing on that top line, they've done it in almost every single game, even the games that they've lost. You look at that Dallas game, that game could have went either way. You look at all like the last 10 games for your Winnipeg Jets, and it's absolutely incredible. They've been playing some of the best hockey, like I said, in years, and the players themselves, like they just like like you got to get full credit like I said the depth this year has been immaculate we are seeing the best depth on this team since 2017-18 the third line with Adam Lowry Mason Appleton and Nino Niederreiter has been incredible they are just combining for points left right and center and they are producing non-stop Nino Niederreiter's all of his six goals have come on the road and three of those were a hat trick game this man has been incredible he has been consistent he is providing offense on a line that we haven't seen a lot of offense from in years you know Connor Hellebuck, like I said, hasn't been playing his best hockey, but lately he's been rebounding, and it doesn't even matter because the team 
is rallying without him, and they're rallying to help boost and get wins. You know, Cole Perfetti, a breakout year coming in right now. 16 points so far in 19 games. He had one of the best point streaks and goal streaks going in the NHL a week ago, and he's just amazing. Neil Pionk, a guy that we all thought we could be writing off, has had an amazing rebound year playing with Brendan Dillon. You look over just at everything else. Mark Scheifele, you know, a guy that we thought was going to be traded, gets signed to that contract extension. You look at what he's done this year already in 19 games. His stats are immaculate. Mark Scheifele's having one of the best years we've seen from him in a long time. And again, Brendan Dillon, this man has come out of nowhere, put up four goals, four goals, three assists, seven points in 19 games, has made Neil, Neil Pionk look good again, and like has become one of the best you know, uh, stories of this season. The only downside of the season has been the attendance woes that we've seen at home at the start. And even then, you know, yeah, that Chipman interview, I liked it, and I think it, it silenced a lot of this, the, the bullshit being spread on the internet about, oh, Atlanta, relocate, relocate, because it is a different environment. It is a different market. We know that. So when a, like when, when the sellouts are the worst headline in a season where you are playing some of the best hockey you have since the Western Conference Final in an economy that is the worst it has been in years, I think that's a pretty good win. You know, Ehlers, again, slow start, but absolutely has been on fire since coming back. Look at that goal he scored the other night. I gotta show this goal on repeat a couple of times every video now, I feel like, because my god, this goal is straight gas. Almost like every goal, other goal that Nikolai like, just scored in his career, but even then, this goal is just beautiful and you love to see it. This team is on fire. They're playing for each other. They're playing for, you know... I don't even know how to describe it outside of that. They're just playing for each other. This team is almost identical outside of three pieces. And even then, you know, Kupari and Velarde have been injured for, a, you know, a good chunk of this season so far. So, Ayafalo has been the only real piece from that Dubois trade being a consistent help in the lineup. And with that, the Jets are absolutely on fire. Just because of that, you look at that. You look at who they're getting back. Vili Hinola, who could be make a huge impact defensively down there when he gets healthy as well. Like... There are so many things just lining up. This team feels different. It just doesn't feel like a team that's had lucky wins that, are, that, that isn't playing, you know, good hockey. This is a team playing fucking amazing hockey that is rallying for each other, rallying for a city that desperately needs it after having mediocre seasons after mediocre seasons, just being let down, and a season that no one expected it. You know, coaching has been incredible. Scott O'Neill coming in, the whole bonus thing, I just... I can't get enough of it. This team has completely transformed my beliefs on on culture in a hockey room because where the Jets were to where they are now by just slapping the C on Dubois and getting I mean, on, on Lowry, excuse me, and getting rid of Dubois and Wheeler and what it has done for this room, what it has done for guys like Mark Scheifele even, like it is just incredible to see. And I'm so glad that I was wrong. I've never been happier to be wrong about something in my entire life because I believe in this Jets team. I, I truly do. I think this team has something. I don't know if they're going to win the cup, but I think this team has something, and they're going to surprise. I don't think this team falls off in January and February. I don't think this is a, if the same vari variation, iteration of the Jets that we've seen in the past. Even though it looks very similar, there's something different, and I believe, and I think all Jets fans should too. And if you're a fan of any other team out there, watch out, because the Jets are here to stay. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below about what you think has been the missing piece that has absolutely ignited this season so far. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to definitely do so all and follow all of my links down in the description below peace love and positivity as always go jets go and i will see you guys for the next recap reaction tomorrow against the nashville predators Glorious.